Hi Pisces, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is gonna be a love bonus read for you. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me, I've been focusing in on just a few select signs that I've been getting a lot of engagement in. Uh, so, but um, guys, I'd love to do you, uh, I'd love to do your sign. Uh, so please definitely like, subscribe, note your comments below guys. Uh, let's go ahead, uh, I'm gonna give it a shot here for you guys and let's take a look at Pisces. What's going on for you this week, all right? Let's take a look at what's going on for you this week. And in terms of your love life. Now, this is whether you're single, coupled, or have yet to meet someone. Uh, you might find something that resonates on one side versus the other. But feel free to reverse sides as you see fit, okay? Because, uh, you know, uh, this could be someone that you're currently are interested in. Someone that you hope to be interested in. Maybe someone that you have yet to meet. Or uh, this could be a friend or family member or a, a current romantic partner, okay? So let's dive in and give me four more cards for Pisces. What do we get? All right, so I'll make this short and sweet, and then we'll see how this goes, <laughs> okay? All right, guys, here we go, here we go, okay? All right, I love this, balancing things out. So at the bottom of the deck, you know what I'm getting, guys, is that I do get that there is some sort of perhaps a message coming through because I get the Page of Swords, and the Page of Swords is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And this tells me that there could be some sort of energetic message coming through, okay? Now, it's going to be pretty exciting because this energetic message might have to do with some sort of success. Uh, it's a wreath of success. It brings forth a lot of confidence. Um, it brings forth a lot of growth. And this is inner growth and that is a, that all others also see as well, okay? Um, so I get, you know, uh, air and fire energy. Uh, so there's been some sort of growth that leads to some sort of, uh, you know, success, whatever that may be. So you could be getting a message from someone, perhaps an air sign, uh, that is that leads to some sort of growth that's coming through. Give us anything more, um, you know, in terms of your underlying energy. So a message coming through, uh, you know, and then I also get uh, uh, something is going to make you feel really good. Wow, there's going to be some sort of spiritual awakening or spiritual revelation coming through. Now, a lot of you guys have already, uh, you know, maybe experienced this, but there's some sort of awakening that's blooming. And someone will probably be coming to uh, perhaps open up, all right? There could be someone that's going to be opening up. Um, because they've been thinking of you, okay? And they can't get you out of their mind. So for some of you, this is the case. This is what's coming through. So let's take a look about where you're at right now. What I get is you're focused on your stability and your security, okay? You're holding tight, um, you know, focusing now on getting your balance, um, you know, in and, and, and your coin. And I think this is really key. This is earth energy, all right? Anything else um, that we get? Yeah, and this has you moving forward very slowly, uh, but uh, very, um, you know, just kind of, you know, taking your time, um, but you're being very, you're putting in the work that's going to be necessary for whatever it is that you want. So you're focused on your stability and, and, and taking the steps in, you know, step by step in order to make that happen. You're not in a rush. You're going slow because you're, you're very calculated as you move forward. Okay. Um, give me anything more. What do we get? Ah, it has to do with intimacy, guys. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, this is you. So I feel that maybe you're, you're being, you're focused on your stability and in your love life, you're taking it really slow right now, okay? Now I do get what's crossing you is an opportunity. Now this is, uh, you know, an eight card. Um, it's the eight of wands, fire energy. And this is movement. This is things now moving and taking place, all right? So if things were maybe uh, not going so well or maybe there was just nothing happening, uh, this is basically saying there's an opportunity for, for some sort of movement, all right? Uh, it's like your romantic life is now picking up, okay? There's some sort of excitement here, all right? There is uh, surprises in love, um, you know, and I get intimacy and compassion coming through with this Ace of Cups. So you guys, I, I, I feel that there is an opportunity here, um, you know, for a, perhaps some sort of a, a new beginning or, um, you know, coming together. There's new romance here. I get new friendship for some of you, okay? Friendship can lead to love, but it's about even also those that are or might be taking that next level in a relationship and going that next step. Ooh, Pisces. Wow. Um, anything else we get for Pisces? What do we get? 
Yeah, this is maybe about you had to reroute things because things were kind of stagnant and now you're developing a, uh, you know, maybe things were stagnant before, but now you're developing a strong, reliable foundation and a structure for yourself. So you had to reroute a little bit because things were a little bit cloudy uh, within the situation. Uh, give me anything else for Pisces where Pisces is at. What do we got? Ah, let your friends help you. Ooh, so this could be about, you know, asking for help from others, guys. This could be the case in terms of your love life. Uh, maybe if, if you want to move towards someone, that is the case, but that's what I get. So let your friends help you within this connection, okay? Or this situation, whatever you find yourself in. Now, what you need to focus in on is how far that you've come, all right? This is past memories, childhood. This could be it's what you want, what they want you to focus in on. So it's kind of like um, an opportunity. It's almost like that someone's giving someone flowers here. So maybe you're considering maybe get buying someone flowers or someone's buying you flowers. Um, but there's a sense of growth on how you've grown since childhood regarding your emotions. And it's it's you know you know um, you know the the masculine here, even though they're young children, it's it's like a simple kind of love. And this is when things were simple. There's an expression of love. He's expressing love to this uh, little girl here. So it's really cute. I think that this could bring you back to childhood. It feels like childhood love, uh, perhaps like, you know, a thing where things were simple and kind of that type of thing. And it could be that you're letting go of the burdens of the past and you are now actually changing your viewpoint as it pertains to love. This is an eight of swords. This is changing your viewpoint as it pertains in your mind, as it pertains to your mind and in love. And you're letting go of your mind's burdens in love that kept things somewhat, uh, uh, you know, stuck in the past, so to speak. Okay. Anything else, what you need to focus in on that you've had some sort of powerful, um, big change in your life, a big discovery. You hit some sort of crisis point, but with some sort of big discovery that shot down and that's why you're letting go of the emotions. And then you get the clarity that you need. You've been crowned with clarity in love. And this is about, you know, clarity of the mind in love. And it's, it allows purity and love to grow now, okay? Ooh, very, very nice, guys. Very nice. So that's what I'm getting. Anything else that you need to focus in on? Healing. Yeah, you're, you're healing from the past that maybe what there was pain that, that caused some sort of, uh, you know, suffering of some sort that's coming through. Anything else that Pisces needs to focus in on? What do we got? What do we get, guys? Ah... You know, this is interesting. I don't know what other sign got this. I'm thinking that it's Aries, but I get the card called I am. Now, remember, anything that you put after I am, you own, okay? It really, it, it's, it's really kind of brings it upon you. So, you know, really focus in on that of which that you want, you know, to come to fruition, okay? So, you know, whatever that is for you, it's basically saying, uh, yeah, bring it on. This is something that is very, very key. But maybe that, you know, I, I, maybe that you're not getting caught up in the story and I am in acceptance of what is and I am seeing the bigger picture in love. And now I'm ready to be able to move forward in love um, because I've gained the wisdom. Uh, I am enjoying the journey. Half the fun is getting there in my love life. I am acknowledging my progress and I am, you know, moving forward in love. I am, you know, being more spontaneous as I move forward and I'm really focusing in on loving and accepting uh, my dark side and I'm, I'm, I'm also, uh, you know, focusing in on my self-love because I know that it's just a matter of time before I have love uh, within my life, all right? So maybe there's, these are things that you really want to focus in on. So you know, definitely note in the comments, um, you know, guys, what after I am, what is it that you want to see? I am lovable. I am, I am knowing and trusting that in divine timing, what's for me will I will not miss, right? I am in a new reality and I'm taking new action right now because I have new thoughts, uh, I have got new decisions, and I'm bringing everything into alignment for my love life. So anyway, this is what's coming through, all right? What is it that you need to focus in on in your strength position? What do I get? The Ten of Pentacles. This is your strength is coming together. It's two people coming together. Now, this could be marriage. Maybe you're focused on your, your, your long-term wealth, your security, uh, this is a uh, wealth that is built over time and it's something that you're focusing in on or perhaps you're, you're wanting to get involved into a marriage. Your strength is coming together with another person, right? 
Um, and then I get Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. So you could be dealing, uh, you know, this is both Earth energy and your strength position. Maybe you're very careful where you place your energy, effort, and time relating to partnership. Um, or you're focused in on your wealth and your security at this moment. Anything else that I get? Um, some of you might be dealing with a, uh, you know, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Your, your, your strength is making some sort of decision, okay? You're at a stalemate, and what else do I get? And then I get the Knight of Swords. Uh, the Knight of Swords is saying, don't be too opinionated or hasty in making a decision, okay? Take your time in making a decision, Pisces, okay? Could be doing Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And then what else do I get? And this is, uh, you know, focusing on that of which brings rewards. You're cultivating and bringing in more investment uh, within your life. And you want to cultivate relationships that, that prosper, all right? Um, this is you going within, Taurus. This is Virgo energy, I should say taking a deeper perspective and seeing the light. So give me anything else in your strength position. Justice will be served. Something that's fair and balanced. Balancing things out. Now this could be maybe that you're going through a shift or a change. Maybe some of you are dealing with a court case. It's saying use your intuition in terms of balancing things out. Anything else in your strength position? What do I get? Synchronicity. Interesting. There's some sort of synchronicity within that once that some balance has been achieved it's kind of like you see the light gleams you know there's this beautiful light within there so i feel that it brings forth synchronicities in terms of your feelings okay whoa because that says feel and then i get prosper oh you guys uh, anything else in terms of the strength position for pisces here what do we get attraction you know, you attract love by enjoying the moment that you're in at this moment. And that's what this is saying. Focus in on the moment and make a wish, guys. Make a wish, all right? At the bottom of the deck, yeah, the dandelions. Make a wish. So if you find a dandelion around this during this time, guys, make sure you pick one up. You know, blow on it. Make a wish and then blow it out. Blow it, okay? Blow on it so it can actually uh, send its seeds across, you know, uh, uh, the, the ground there. But this is what this is talking about. This is neat. So make a wish, you know, and keep focusing in on, on um, you know, focusing in on the current moment. Uh, that's going to be key. Uh, your near future is being independent and grounded and in gratitude and in thankful for the luxuries and just where you're at at this moment, Pisces. Being really, really um, thankful, okay? Uh, and in gratitude, deep gratitude is what I get. And what else? Page of Pentacles, a message coming through. Could be a message coming through. Um, hmm, Taurus, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo energy. So if you're in this, maybe you're delivering a message to someone or someone's delivering a message to you, okay? Ooh, give me more on this Page of Pentacles. That's a manifestation of a new opportunity. You know what I get, guys? With this Page of Pentacles, this is a manifestation in... And then I get um, the devil energy. So maybe there's a message of some sort of bondage of the past. Give me a card on Capricorn energy of the devil. Because this tells me this is self-imposed uh, limitations. Give me a card. Yeah, you've got a new beginning. You know, you might be, someone might be reaching out for a brand new beginning. Or you might be thinking about doing it. After letting go of the bondage of the past. Again, some of you may have gone out through a divorce. Some of you may have gone out through a separation or ended something, but you've got a brand new beginning. This is this is self-imposed limitations, and you're having a new beginning because you've re you've let this go, okay? And maybe you're delivering a message to someone, but this is a new beginning. Give me more on this. What do we get? Yeah, you broke. See, you broke the, the through the bond, the bonds of what has been holding you back, and this is in the mind. So this is in the mind that's coming through Pisces. So this is quite interesting. But in the mind, that's what this is saying, is that you're focused in on that. And um, it's an opportunity to uh, create some sort of change. Give me anything else that wants to come through within this. Yeah, the limiting beliefs. Here we go. I knew it. That's why I want to pull from this deck of the wellness cards. This tells me is that you, the, the, you know, he's crossing, you know, he's got his hands and they're bound. And this is saying like help is on its way. Your subconscious beliefs and, um, you know, are impeding your progress in your love life. And this is saying is that 
uh, getting rid of that, all right? You're breaking free and you're checking in with yourself. You're doing the shadow work and you're rewiring those limiting beliefs. And if you need help with that, guys, check the link in the description box below. I do a lot of work surrounding on, on getting rid of that and, and letting go and allowing in and, and being able to um, implant better beliefs in terms of moving forward in creating change in your life and especially your love life. Now, your suggested approach is to think about it. So this is about maybe you're thinking about extending an offer to someone or someone's extending an offer to you and you're thinking about it, okay? Um, this is, uh, you know, can Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces uh, energy. And, and by the way, guys, you know in that limiting beliefs? Well, just by the way, at the bottom of the deck, this is releasing. So a lot of you are releasing those limiting beliefs. And I'm just so proud. You're letting go um, and, and, and you're not longing on something, okay? Um, you don't have, you don't have this vibe of not having, you're freeing yourself of expectations, right? And you're feeling great about letting go. And so what I get in your suggested approach is thinking about it. So maybe you're thinking about an opportunity that's come by you or, or maybe an opportunity that you want to extend. And I get uh, preparation and foresight. So this is developing a strategy and a plan, um, you know, before doing that. Okay. So you're developing a strategy and plan. Um, you know, in terms of what that looks like. Anything else, your suggested approach? What do we get? Focusing in on your vibration and what else? And being authentic. Wow. This is, uh, this is really focusing in on your vibration and being incredibly authentic. And that's what's going to be really important on your suggested approach as you move forward. Okay. Uh, anything else on your suggested approach? What do we get for Pisces? Heart to heart conversation. So this is saying is have that conversation, guys, all right? Have that conversation, come together, that's what's gonna be key. And what you need to know, page of rods, could be dealing with someone's got fire in their chart, okay? Uh, this is, uh, the, the page of, of wands really talks about and making a discovery. You've discovered something. There's growth on that wall in there and you've now discovered, wait a minute, I recognize something here. Give me a card on this page. This is another message coming through from a fire sign, or this could be the same, you know, person here, but they've made a discovery, okay? Or, or this is you, but you know, this is, you know, could be someone that's, yeah, who's got fire in their chart, or you've made some sort of discovery in, in what you need to know, and what's that? Ah, that teamwork and collaboration are key in a connection. This is putting in the work both sides. Not one person putting in the work, not you just putting in the work, right? Or not them, both of you together, teamwork, okay? That's going to be key. And then what else do we get? Resurrection. So this is uh, actually some sort of judgment being made. This is a transformation. So you're taking evaluation of the situation and in terms of, you know, uh, you know summing up and making a decision and, and perhaps balancing something out, Sagittarius energy with temperance energy. You end with two major arcana. So it's now actually something is going to be balanced in terms of the emotions. Give me a card on that. What do we get? Yep, being flexible and more adaptable in a connection or in a situation with the two of pentacles. So things can go smoothly, right? And then this is saying that you're going to persevere with the nine of wands. Wanting to persevere and push forward, uh, you know, perhaps within a situation. So that's what I get for you here. Yeah, I have you speaking up and standing your ground. Wow. Um, let's take a look at this other person on the other side. What do we get for them? Clarity. They got some sort of clarity. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Could be doing with an air sign. They got clarity as to why there was conflict in the situation. Maybe there was a lot of conflict and, you know, just a, a lot of, uh, um, you know, uh, just, I don't know, conflict, tension in the situation, some sort of adversity, fire energy. And then this is a message. Uh, maybe they delivered a message, uh, but they're, they're noticing the synchronicity that was behind, um, you know, this, this uh, adversity in the connection. So I get, I get air, Gosh, I get air, fire, and water, okay? And then anything else? Yeah, and they felt, this is about feeling left out. Maybe they feel left out of the situation, okay? Give me another card. And this has them persevering and just moving forward. Uh, fire energy. This is motioning forward. So it has them moving forward. Um, they've, kind of, they've closed an old cycle out. This is a, you know, this is actually lucky, okay? The, um, with this uh, Wheel of Fortune, it talks about an opportunity for a change of direction. This person is changing direction. They've ended a karmic, uh, an old cycle of the past, all right? Anything else? 
Yeah, maybe they sheltered themselves off of love because they had trust issues. What's their suggested approach? Um, oh, what do we get in terms of their suggested approach? Well, let's focus on what they need to focus in on first. Being compassionate, being, you know, nurturing, being, um, you know, tapping into their intuition with the queen of cups, all right? Or they need to focus in on you. <laughs> They're looking right at you here, okay? What else? And this is queen of swords. I get two queens here. Uh, so this could be then, I mean, if they're taking on this energy, they're intuitive, but they're also very perceptive. Yes, that means a kind of similar situation, but she's a quick thinker and she moves forward and cuts out what's not working. Um, the queen of, 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 uh, cups is very, you know, again, nurtured. She's a trustworthy partner. Okay. And this person, you know, could be taking on that, that energy or they see you that way. All right. What else? There's scorpionic energy. There's been some sort of ending. It brings forth purity of a brand new beginning. This is major transformation, okay, that has taken place. Anything else, what they need to focus in on? This is about not taking advantage of others, all right? And this is um, getting rid of the, the uh, imaginary, all right? And then focus on being a, um, a boss, independent, and strong. So this person might see that in you, or this could be them. Anything else, um, I get at the bottom of the deck, guys, uh, soulmate, soul contract. So there could have been a closing out of a cycle within a situation, but I, I do get it maybe perhaps a soulmate uh, connection. What's in their uh, strength position? Happiness. Oh my gosh, the nine of cups. The nine of cups is beautiful because this focuses in on an opportunity for, you know, satisfaction. This is appreciating their current love life, okay? And this is positively, you know, moving forward in romance, a cheerful romance, all right? It may, they, maybe they completed an important stage in their life and now they deserve a holiday before moving on. So I do get maybe some sort of wish coming true. They're in some sort of contentment, satisfaction, recognition. They've had some sort of achievement in their life, all right? Anything else? The world card, yep. Com yeah, completion. You know, this could be a completion of that uh, cycle that we were just talking about that with the Wheel of Fortune card. Um, but the World card is a sense of some sort of completion. Um, it could be an opportunity for, um, you know, just so some sort of liberation in peace. All right. It's ruled by Saturn. It brings in some sort of structure. This person sees things differently now. All right. So some sort of structure has been put into place. And uh, they've been getting support from family and, uh, you know, community around them. Near future, what do we get? Taking action and moving forward. They're moving forward on faith and taking action, guys. Cancer energy. They're balancing out their light and dark sides, but they're moving forward. They are pushing forward after some sort of deception, whether that was with you or in past previously situation where there was some conflict. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And even though they were disappointed in the situation, um, I feel that they're ready for a brand new beginning, the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, brand new beginning comes in here. Woo, okay. Anything else in their near future? What do we get? Ah, it's safe for you to love. I don't know if you're considering, you know, meeting up with this person or if this person reaches out to you, they're ready at this time. This is about, you know, there's, it's safe to love. They had to get out of something and close out an old cycle that took them time um, is what I'm getting. Uh, but you, I, this is why I feel there's been some sort of shift on their side, a major shift. So um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Um, yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Note your comments, like, and subscribe. Let me know if this resonates with you and, uh, definitely hit the like button. And, uh, if you want to see more of this guys, okay. And until next time, namaste.